Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroot from dq.ddd.ca. Today's lesson is Introduction to Soft Plan. We're going to be using adding cabinets, uh, factory done drawing inside of the Learning Soft Plan, Chapter 2, Lesson 10, Adding Cabinets. All right. First thing I want to do is make sure that I have the proper dimensions inside my room. So we're going to click on dimension, click on the outsides. It says it's 12 foot 1 from outside the stud to center of stud. I'm not a large fan of center line of stud, so I'm going to click on dimension, pull down menu, go down to dimension format. And I'm going to change the interior wall to center, sorry, to edge from center, and click on the convert. I have this feeling that this lesson may be quite large, so it may be a three or four part, but it was then by, by the end of this lesson you will be able to uh, view your cabinetry in 3D. Alright, it says that our wall is 11 foot 11 and a quarter, so I am going to edit that and change that to 12 foot 1 and go right. Alright, now let's move into our cabinetry. So we have the icon which is here, base, desk, tall, vanity, and wall. So we're just going to be dealing with um, base, tall, and wall. Base cabinets, of course, are going to be for the base cabinetry around the uh, kitchen. Desk is usually for the desk itself inside the kitchen. Could could vary. And uh, tall, is, of course, is floor to ceiling. So let's get started. I just clicked on the wall itself, and I came down. Now, this is not the best place to start. As a default, it actually is uh, standard. So you have three different types to, uh, to choose in here uh, that we're going to be doing today. Uh, the blind corner is the one with the lazy Susan, and that's the one we want to choose. And I'll show you the diagonal one in our next set of cabinetry. Now, I just chose a spot on the wall. As you can see, it's facing the wrong direction, if far away from the wall. But if I click downwards, it will actually try its best to find the walls itself. So, so far, so good. I should probably move this inside the screen so everyone can see it. All right. Now I want to. I don't know the distance between here and here, so I just hit B as in between on the keyboard. Click on here. Click on the sink. It says it's one foot nine. That would be uh, twenty-one inches. So I'm going to close that and open up our cabinet detail icon and base and I'm going to slip that inside the window again. We are inside of the standard right now, which standard meaning it's, um, it's flat against the wall. There's our 21. 21 is actually the largest you could probably get with one door, so we're going to leave the one door. Of course, if you want to change the uh, arc flat panel to other different varieties, uh, check out the intermediate mode. Sorry, the intermediate level. We'll just play with the actual basic cabinets for now. Okay, so we have our one door, one door there, and let's draw that on. And as you can see, I actually did miss, but it knew that um, the cabinet's going to be binding up with other ones. My sinks are normally the 33-inch ones, so I'm going to click on the 33-inch for the next one. I, I don't know if you noticed, but the window for the uh, configure cabinets have not hasn't closed yet until... I'm done with them yet, so uh, we have uh, several different types to choose from. It is a sink. Sometimes a sink actually would like to have a drawer on top. There's also another one right below that, so it makes it look decent. So I'm going to select the wall itself and come down. Perfect. Now I could continue, but I think I think uh, I'd rather stick with going starting in the corners again. So um, blind corner. And it is going to be a one door, so be aware of that. You could change this afterwards, but it's ideal to get it on the fly. 
So we're snapping into place, and I have no idea how big that is, so B as in between, click on the cabinet, click on the cabinet, and it's one foot six. Ah, 18 inches, perfect. So I'm going to click on the cabinet icon again. And stick with our base, go into our 18 inch and it's going to be a one door. Actually, I, maybe I should make this a drawer unit. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm going to slide down to the, near the bottom. There's a three door. Now it's more for cutlery. And click on the wall. Click downwards. Now, what's going to happen is that sometimes they not, may not bind correctly. It's actually is trying is doing its best. So uh, all I have to do is just do a control C on the keyboard, clean up. Now what I'll be doing in the future is uh, once in a while I check to see exactly what is all the cabinetry names. There is actually one way to do it. You put your cursor on the cabinet, not the symbol, not anything else. Just put it on the cabinet and hit Control E. Control E as in explode. It will actually unbind all the cabinetry and it will show you all the names. If I do Control C again, it cleans them up and puts it back to where it should be. All right, next thing. I see I have uh, a little bit of space in there. I'm going to assume that that's 33 inches as well. Um, probably wouldn't go with that many drawers. Let's go with just the f three, three sets of drawers. Oops, there we go. So for the big pots and whatnot. Okay, so I do know that my width is 33 inches, so I'm just going to give this a try right now. If it, doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, good, it does work. And let's go down here and I'm going to draw on my last cabinet. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't have the uh, proper uh, dimension between the two. So clicking on the oven, clicking on the cabinetry, I'm going to type in one, enter, and then down because I want the down object to move upwards. So hit down. <clears throat> and there's our 33 and 3 inches. Okay. And clicking on our uh, cabinet itself. We're going to wait a second here. And then it should kick up a, a menu where <clears throat> the name could be shown or not shown. Because it's not attached to other cabinets, it will actually show the name because there's nothing to bind to. So you can just turn that off just for visual purposes. There's no need to have that on right now unless you're going to show the cabinet people. And on the last side we are going to put on a tall. So go to my draw, go down to cabinet, plan, <coughs> and we're going to put on a tall. All right, so it will be a standard because you get going against the wall. Uh, make it wide enough to be a, a rather large two door, and hit OK. And then same thing as our cabinet on the other side. Actually, that's not too bad. I think I'll just oh, well, actually we're sort of creeping into the doorway there. I'm just going to move that over. And we're going to do the exact same thing as our cabinet on the other side because there is nothing to bind to. We're going to click on here and turn the name off. Our show name. Excellent. This is uh, concluding part one of adding cabinets. Uh, that was for the uppers. It is coming up next, part two. If you have any requests uh, on how to add anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca. Thank you so much for watching SoftPlan TV.